This is the Freezer 33 Esports 1 cooler from Arctic. It's quite the name, so I'll just call it the Freezer 33 in this review. The Freezer 33 is a compact cooler with a super dense fin design, black thermal coating that actually helps with cooling, a four offset heat pipe design, all while clearing the ram slides. It's quite the compact cooler, but does it pack a punch for its size? Hey what's up guys it's JD from JD Tech Air and welcome back to the channel. So the Freezer 33 comes in several different colors or trims as you would like to call it which are yellow, red, green and white. There's two versions of the cooler too, a single fan version and a dual fan option. The one we're looking at today is the single fan version. The single fan version is $40 but you can find it on sale for $30 and the dual fan version is $55 but you can find it on sale for $45 and both versions have a 10 year warranty. Of course for my evaluation I will be using the MS. RP. For presentation, I have two different trims, the white trim and the green trim, and it almost goes without saying, but the different color fan trims look good. No doubt, this is a good looking cooler in my opinion, and it's also compact, so it won't be too distracting from the rest of your components either, unless you're really into large CPU coolers for their aesthetics, aside from their cooling capabilities. There is mounting support for LGA sockets 775 to 1151 and FM1 to AM4 and STR4, so yes, this cooler does have have AM4 support right out of the box, which is nice. The packaging includes all the mounting accessories along with a packet of thermal paste, additional fan mounting clips to add another fan, and no paper instructions, but instead a QR code. If you don't have a smartphone, you can go to the link displayed on the QR code card. The inclusion of a QR code instead of paper instructions might set some people off, but it helps save paper, so I'm not against it at all. And the online instructions are easy to follow. The Freezer 33 is 150 millimeters tall, 123 millimeters wide, and 88 millimeters long, with the fan included in the bottom of the mounting plate. There are four 6 millimeter copper contact heat pipes that do in fact make direct contact with the CPU package. The fin design is black, and it's not only for aesthetic, it's called a thermal coat to help with micro turbulences in the passing of air inside the fins to help cool the air passing through faster than it traditionally would without any turbulence. The micro turbulences are also produced in part with the offset heat pipes. The heat pipes aren't aligned with each other like you would see with some other various coolers. All the hardware including the fan and the cooler are very high quality. The structural integrity felt great on everything. The fan quality like I said is high quality. The fan is of course structurally sound. The blades spin without any rattling or ticks. The blades are sturdy and have a narrow gap to the fan frame from both the side profile and top profile. Also, the logo on the fan is not a sticker. It is one with the frame. It's engineered with the actual fan and doesn't look like the fan is wobbling when the blades are spinning. It's little quality details that get me, honestly. Also, the fan cable is nicely braided and includes a fan splitter on it if you decide to buy another fan down the road, again, with the minor details. I admire that you are provided with all the tools in order to get another fan. Overall, quality is top notch, especially for this price. The installation process was very easy for an air cooler surprisingly. So for AM4 installation, reuse the back plate that was provided with the AM4 motherboard, then use the two braces provided in the packaging and screw them on top of the mounting plate at the bottom of the cooler. The braces should face inward towards each other towards the cooler to match the screw holes on the AM4 back plate. Next, mount the cooler to the holes in the back plate with the long screws provided in the packaging. Lastly, attach the fan with the fan clips. This is the only tricky part, as trying to find the hole for the fan clip to go into the bottom of the cooler is a little tricky. Over Overall, a fairly easy process and one of the smoothest installations I've had for an air cooler. Now let's talk about performance. The fan can spin anywhere from 200 RPM to 1800 RPM, which is a massive range to accommodate all types of cooling. At max speed, the fan produces 52.8 decibels of sound, which is noticeable, but placing my hand behind the cooler, this thing pushes a lot of air. For testing, I used the Ryzen 1400 at 3.9 GHz and stressed it with IDA64. At a stock fan curve, the 1400 was 50.25 degrees Celsius at 1670 RPM. In comparison to the stock fan setting, this cooler performs very well alongside the Riven Oranos FSP Windell 6 and Cooler Master Master Liquid 120. The Ryzen 1400 has a relatively low thermal output, so the slightly cooler Oranos and Master Liquid 120 will have a better overhead for overclocking, but so will the Arctic Freezer 33, which is impressive. Now let's look at the decibel levels for total system noise and temperatures for each fan setting. At max speed, the temps reach 48.25C at 47.4 dB, which is very audible. With the silent fan curve, I recorded 53. 
1.88c at 40.1 decibels. The silent fan curve is ridiculously quiet and produces relatively good performance. This cooler is fantastic. For $40, it is absolutely worth the money, and for $30, it is a steal. Arctic has always made quality products, in my opinion. This experience solidifies my opinion. Arctic has a uniform aesthetic with their products, but this cooler deviates from the norm and it does it tastefully. I really like the look of this cooler, as it looks distinctive and offers a variety of colors without going the RGB route to make it slightly more expensive. The build quality is superb and the installation process is very easy for an air cooler and it clears the dim slots, so you won't have to worry about any sort of clearance issues with your RAM. This is an all around solid cooler offering performance, aesthetics, and solid build quality. There's only one nitpick I had with this cooler and that was when installing the fan onto the mounted cooler, it's a bit difficult to find the mounting hole for the fan clip on the bottom of the cooler, but that's really it. I have to say this offers an amazing price to performance value, so much so that I'm going to give it the Tech Setup Gear certification for offering superior value at its price tier. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a cooler that's great on clearance, offers great acoustics, gives you solid cooling performance for slightly more than what you would pay for a Hyper 212 Evo, and it looks good while doing it too. I hope you all enjoyed the review and found it helpful. If you are new here and want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.